We begin with some breaking news. And the scientist who co-discovered Ebola told CCTV that the ZMAP drug has led to the recovery of 18 infected monkeys. Peter Pio, director of the London School of Hygiene and Trop Topical uh, Medicine, is calling for the compassionate use of experimental drugs. ZMAP was successfully used on two American doctors, but also on a Spanish priest who later died. The promising findings are published in Nature magazine and show that treatment not only saved the monkeys, but also reversed rashes, excessive bleeding and elevated liver enzymes. In this first interview has our special contributor, James Charles, spoke in London with Professor Pio. Much has been made in the media about the two American doctors who were given experimental drugs, but how much of their recovery was to do with the drugs versus the first-class U.S. medical hospitals they were in? Two American doctors uh, received uh, a drug called ZMAP. These are antibodies um, that are trying to neutralize, to eliminate the uh, Ebola virus in the blood and so on. And uh, we can't uh, rely in medicine on uh, the results of one or two patients because we also had a Spanish priest who got the same drugs and a Liberian a doctor and both of them died. But there's some good news uh, that is coming from um, experimental treatment in um, uh, macaques, kind of monkey. And out of 18 monkeys that uh, received this uh, drug, even of up to five days after um, being infected, uh, none of them um, really died. And that's just compared with 100% fatality in the control group. So we have some hope that there are treatments. Over 1,000 dead, more than 2,000 infected, a fatality rate of up to 90%, quarantines, travel bans, limited treatments. Peter Piot, what is it about this Ebola outbreak that worries you most? This Ebola outbreak is the largest and the longest that we've ever known. It came a bit as a surprise um, when in 76 we uh, investigated with our team the first known Ebola outbreak. It was very localized and all outbreaks since then have been you know, sometimes serious with a few hundred people who died but always uh, local. Not only national health systems are struggling, the international charity Médecins Sans Frontières says it can only do what it can do. What do you think is likely to happen next if more cracks appear in the global response? What we need now is a major concerted effort of the international community to support the local authorities, the local governments, the local NGOs, because the solution can only come from within. And uh, that solution is not so easy. What we are witnessing in uh, West Africa is a perfect storm. We do have such an unprecedented vast epidemic of Ebola hemorrhagic fever because these countries are coming out of decades of civil war, Liberia and Sierra Leone, resulting in uh, dysfunctional health systems, um, poor health services and um, public services, a, v a lack of trust in authorities. Fortunately, all this is changing now in the sense that um, the countries have declared um, the epidemic as a public health emergency following a decision by uh, the World Health Organization and the international uh, support is uh, now um, you know, developing but it's not, still not at the level that it's needed. 